G'day everyone, welcome back. So firstly, a massive thumbs up and thank you to all of those that actually left a comment on my last video. My last one was actually an unboxing and I asked a question about what you'd like me to review, whether it was just the military stuff or commercial as well. As you can see, I had some pretty positive feedback and that's why I'm gonna be doing a commercial one today. I was absolutely blown away by the amount of people that left comments and feedback about what they'd like me to do. So a huge, huge thank you to everyone that did that. I really, really appreciate it. So the first one I decided to go with is the Backcountry Cuisine Cooked Breakfast. Now, the Backcountry Cuisine Company was actually founded in New Zealand in 1998, and it was done to actually take over for the Allianz Company, which was one of the main providers of freeze-dried food for civilian as well as military personnel. So looking at the description of the meal, it's actually gluten-free. So anyone who's got a problem with that, this is a good one for you if you like going camping and traveling. And it sounds pretty good. Tell you what, beef, bacon, and scrambled eggs in hash brown potato mix served with baked beans. <laughs> Don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to trying that. So let's have a closer look at the packaging. So obviously it's very commercial. It's got the hole here so they can actually hang it on the hooks in the shops. It's got a nice tear strip along for the top so you can actually open it up. And it feels like it's actually got one of those resealable strips along here. Afterwards, you can also sit it out so it stands up nicely. And as well as some extra tear strips here at the halfway down so you can actually open it up and just eat out of the bag. New Zealand made. So with the packaging, all of it looks the same for all of these different ones. So these are the single serve, and all they do is actually put a sticker on the front here. And you can actually see the line of where they've actually done that. On the back, same sort of deal. They actually got another sticker that they put on for each individual meal type. After the information about it, there you go, you can have a look. And we've got a best before of 6th of July 2020. So plenty of time it's got to actually use this one. So because this one doesn't come with a drink, I was actually looking through some of the old boxes that I actually reviewed, and I found an old coffee, creamer, and sugar from the British 24 hour ration pack which I reviewed. So I'm gonna use that today as well. So let's have a look inside and see what we've got. Nice peel strips here. There we go. Get that off. And let's open it up. So inside we've got two packages. Well, actually, just one package. This one here. And then we've got the main stuff at the bottom there, which looks like the beef and bacon and scrambled egg mix. So after I opened it, I actually got this extra package here. So I'll tear that one open. There we go. And have a look. I'm guessing this is our baked beans. Yeah. Maybe just see those beans down the bottom there. So I was having a look and it's asked for a quarter of a cup of hot water for these beans. So we'll pour that in. And with the main meal here, it's asked for three quarters of a cup of hot water. So we'll pour that in too. And we'll give both of those a stir. We'll give this a stir too here. Let's 
seal both of these up. And we'll just move these over to the side so that we can actually make our coffee. So with the coffee, it's just a normal original Nescafe. Just a bit of a normal granule that they have there. We've got our Beyond the Beaten Track sugar. And the same with the creamer as well from Beyond the Beaten Track. Looks like that brand's actually getting around a fair bit more over in Europe with the different militaries and their ration packs. You see it a lot more. Add our water. And we'll give it a stir. Now I was actually having a bit of a look at the back of this packaging here. And it says, add 90 mils or one quarter cup of hot water. And when I was actually having a look at my measuring spoon, it has a quarter cup equals 60 mil. So I might have underdone it if they actually need 90 mils, or it might be all right. Be interesting to see once we wait for that 10 minutes to be up to see how it went. So it's actually been sitting here about 12 minutes now. So let's plate it up and see how it looks. Inside looks pretty good. Let's get it out. Still a bit of stuff in the bottom there. Don't want to waste any. Not the biggest meal, but you know, it's going to fill the spot. And we'll have a look at these beans too. So hopefully they went all right with the quarter cup. And yeah, it's actually a little bit of sauce in there. So I might actually move this to the side and put it all in the one. Yeah, that looks really nice. Um, maybe could have done with a little bit more water if you wanted a bit more sauce, but all in all, pretty good. Well, I'm really excited. This is my first actual taste of freeze dried food. So let's get into the main bit. So here you can see we've got the bits of egg, got the beef as well. So try and get a bit of everything on there. Let's see how it goes. Oh wow, that is really, really nice. Uh, the egg flavor really, really pumps through there. It's quite a strong egg flavor. And with the beef, it's a little bit chewy. Actually, it's probably like the texture of the Jack Link steak bars, which we get in the uh, Aussie CR1M. So I might just try it on its own. When you actually have it on its own, it's got a really nice smoky flavor to it. Uh, it's a little bit like bacon, so I guess that's where they talk about the beef bacon flavor on the front of the box. And let's try these baked beans too. Now these look a lot different to any sort of baked beans that I've had before. I'm used to a lot thicker sort of richer red gravy which it comes in, but still looks pretty good. Let's have a go. Yeah, the flavor of the beans, really, really nice. Absolutely beautiful sauce that it's in too. Um, you can taste a few different herbs in there. I can't make out what they are, I'm not that good at them. But it's a really, really nice fresh taste. With the texture of the beans themselves, they're a little bit grainy, probably just because they're freeze dried. 
and yeah, maybe they did need a little bit extra water. So something to think about next time. If you want a little extra sauce, hopefully, if you're using one of these things, just chuck in a little bit extra water in there. So let's try and give everything a bit of a go together. Get a bit of everything on here. <laughs> Yummo. Oh, that is definitely the way to have it. Get a bit of everything all together. Really, really nice. And each time I have a bite, the smokiness flavor from that beef really comes through even more with each bite, which is really nice. Man, let's try this coffee as well. Well, I don't know what the difference is, but that Nescafe is a lot better than the one that we get here in Australia. Yeah, yum. This is really good. I'm looking forward to finish this one today. So, what do I think of this one? I must say, I'm really, really impressed. Well done to the team there at Backcountry Cuisine. This is absolutely beautiful. I'd definitely be taking this with me if I was going camping or fishing or hiking. Absolutely great meal. Heaps of flavour. It doesn't weigh much at all with the freeze-dried packaging. And you don't need any spices to go with it. Yeah, maybe you could put a little bit of salt and pepper on there for some extra flavouring, but it certainly doesn't need it. Especially with that beef with the uh, smokiness flavour, you don't want to have anything that overpowers that and takes it away. And if anyone else out there gets a chance to try this one, I'd definitely suggest it to them. Take it along with you. Uh, enjoy a nice warm meal, which is easy to prepare and taste really good too. So just one more final thing. Some of you might have noticed a difference with the sound or picture quality of this video and the last one. And that's actually because I've got a new phone which I record these off. Unfortunately, I don't have a video camera to do it with, so I'm doing it off my own phone. So if you want to leave a comment about what you think about the sound quality, picture quality compared to my old videos, uh, please let me know. I will eventually try and get a video camera and a proper microphone that I can use to make these videos. However, at the moment, this is what I've got to work with. So if you could let me know what you think, if it works okay, if it does the job, that'd be great. And thanks heaps again to everyone for actually jumping on, having a look at my video. I look forward to your comments. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up there at the bottom. And I'll also leave a link to the previous videos that I actually mentioned before. Thanks heaps for popping by, everyone. See ya. Thank you.